What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and over the past week on the Call of Duty Warzone Reddit and Twitter, a lot of people are kind of upset about vehicles because of how easy it is to kill, and yeah, I admit they are a cheap and easy way to get kills, but there are a couple ways to counter vehicles in Warzone, plus you can earn an easy kill, or maybe even a couple kills, so today, I'm going to give you some advice and my thoughts on vehicles, some tips on how to counter them, and what I believe can be done to balance the strength of vehicles. Now guys, just to be straightforward, yes, I do believe that vehicles are insanely good in this battle royale as I stated in the intro. It's a very cheap and easy way to get kills because if you happen to find an enemy just running around out in the open, then odds are they're just going to get flattened like a pancake. There's even been a few people that even say that they've won games just by using vehicles only to get kills. Now some of the vehicles do leave you pretty exposed such as the tactical rover and the ATV, so from my experience, the, the those two really don't have an issue I guess um, but they're still very very good but still like I said you are very exposed to gunfire but with the cargo truck and the SUV they give the driver a bunch of cover they're much more bulkier and harder to avoid and the only way to kill the driver with bullets is by shooting from the passenger window or the front of the windshield but you are very very exposed and you do end up wasting a bunch of ammo and if you do you know stop to fire them then you possibly can get run over but even then though you can counter that by reversing away turning around and yeah vehicles are just very very nimble for their size in this battle royale um, regardless if you're going to be going forward or backing up they do have the same amount of speed but one way to counter from an up close range would be to just toss a C4 on the vehicle C4s do a lot of damage and they do take the vehicle out of commission basically if they don't happen to fully destroy it then just put a couple bullets in the vehicle and it's going to be destroyed Semtexes are also very decent as well but C4s will give you a faster time to detonate. So honestly, in my opinion, I think C4s should be the meta to counter the vehicles in the game. But now as for something more at a distance, the RPGs will definitely do a lot of damage as well. Plus they are very, very strong for close quarters gunfights. I've been using an RPG as my secondary for the past couple days now. And I've been having a lot more success compared to sniping in this game because um, for me, I find sniping to be very, very inconsistent. Um, so... I get more use out of an RPG, and like I said, plus I can counter vehicles in the game. So definitely guys, I think for your lethal, C4 should be used, and then maybe one or two guys on your team can use an RPG as a secondary. I don't think the entire team needs to be sniping in this game, because you can have a more variety of usage by having at least one guy with an RPG. They're very, very good for getting kills too, so highly recommend using a rocket launcher if you haven't already become accustomed to them. I have seen a lot of people on the Reddit too say that rocket launchers are the meta for the game and I think slowly but surely they are transitioning to a meta uh, more so than sniping so yeah give the RPGs a try. So those are just some basic tips to counter vehicles but onto what I believe can be done to balance them. First off I like to mention in no way do I think they are overpowered because there is actually is a way or multiple ways to counter them so that doesn't really classify something as overpowered in my opinion but there definitely does need to be some improvements made like I mentioned earlier you can reverse and go forward at the same exact speed vehicles should not be able to do that the speed should be capped off at a slower pace if you are reversing and also I think the health should be decreased slightly not a whole lot because you still are exposed on the map if you do see somebody driving around then you know your entire team can just pump a bunch of bullets into them and get an easy kill or multiple kills um, so definitely though it, they shouldn't have a decreased health but only slightly and lastly I don't think vehicles should be a one-hit kill even if you do happen to graze your body because in blackout vehicles would really only one hit kill you if you ran over the enemy team and I think that's perfect. Treyarch did a very good job with vehicles and Infinity War should do something similar to that. If a vehicle does happen to graze you or brush you slightly then it should lower your health by, by a significant amount not completely kill you because in real life that doesn't really happen so um, those are my thoughts on vehicles. I think the health should be decreased and also your um, I guess damage intake to vehicles should be increased as well. The reversing speed is something I can live with but I still would love to see it um, get decreased by a little bit too. So guys those are my thoughts on vehicles in Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale and no way do I think they're overpowered but they for sure need some fine tuning in the next update. Um, again let me know your thoughts guys. Thanks for watching. Love y'all so so much. Till next time I'll see you guys later.